It'll always find an opportunity to say. Uh, sorry about the voice and that. I had that terrible cough and God knows what came back yesterday. Um, it is 13.30. Cool, here we go. 13th of November 2015. Uh, I went to the gym yesterday. Fine. Did all the extra. came back, went to the library. Well, it's library, come everything else in there. Sat down, had a coffee, it was all right. Went and read the newspapers in the back. Well, read them, skimmed through them. Started coughing, and it just escalated from there. I told him back to square one. Got half a voice missing. I mean, half my voice missing. I don't know why it's come back. It's the second or third time. I know people are getting the second sort of, I don't know, visitation from it. Visitation. Um, still do that horrible voice, though. But, um... I don't know why it's called it, uh, after bloody night coughing, spluttering. I thought I'd got rid of it for good, but nah. Anyway, I'm staying in today. Give it a, a bit of a chance. Although they reckon it's nothing to do with the temperature. Getting a cold and all the rest of it, don't they? Uh, my God. Yeah, what you said, Brian, as well. Um... You don't know what they put in a flu jab. I mean, the bit that don't make sense to me, I don't know if I put it on anyone's comments, is that they now say that what they put in this jab is the flu germ, the, what do they call it, inactive, not working. So I don't understand what is the point of injecting a flu germ in your body to build up a resistance if the flu germ isn't working. I don't understand that. All right, Zara. I don't understand that. You know? What's the point? I mean, it's like... Uh, it's like training for a boxing match. You go in there, but you're not allowed to use your fists. You know, I don't understand. It don't make sense to me at all, but... I didn't know whether to have the jab or not this year because my wife said for about a week, I was sort of like, sort of slightly ill with it, so God knows what they put in it. My sister stopped it. My wife doesn't have the jab either. Um, there's quite a few don't. I saw the pharmacist I said, before this started again. What was it? Yesterday, I think, before I went to the library after the gym. Um, and uh, I said, I need to speak to the pharmacist. Um, you know, to have, I seem to have a permanent cold just my nose. I said, I feel all right. I do now. I said, I feel all right myself, I said, but I've either got a bit of hay fever in the summer, I said, or I get this. I said, it just make my voice disappear. Um, so he said, oh, he said, well, the pharmacist isn't here now. He said, you come back Monday, but she'll tell you the same. He said, they, um, they won't touch it. You know, it's disastrous. So none of this seems to make sense to me. I just don't understand that at all. You know, how can you build up a resistance to something that's not working? And I'm a bit thick, not the brightest of blokes, but I mean, come on, come on. You know, so if someone could enlighten one, I don't understand that. I mean, I did ask my um, trainer yesterday, um, just out of interest, I said, why is, it there a different, is there a different strain of flu every year? And she said, it's sort of, wait for this big word, metamorphosis is. I said, well, like the oak. <laughs> no, she said, uh, it does, she said, it, it makes a different strain. It's like, I don't know, evolution forward or backwards. It finds another way to punch you one. So I often wonder whether it's got a brain in these things. Like, you know, I mean, why do they want to make life horrible for us, you know? Mind you, half the people in the world do that, don't they? So there you go. Um, that's about it. Really, and still, my mate down the gym brought in two ukuleles, one called a tenor, one called um, a soprano like mine. Tuned it all right, mine still won't tune. I've got two ukuleles and a guitar. Well, a guitar is easy, but... And the, the other one, I, I decided to take that one out of a guitar. It's even worse. All I can do is play them silly little calls that I've made up, but they sort of match the sort of little ditties and songs that i come out with. A god knows what goes wrong on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, 
And then he put me out of my mouth. And you're not going to get me, Jones, are you? You never know. So there. So I'll let uh, people get back to what they want to get back to. Um, so I won't bother to comment on that last bit, uh, Bri, because it's uh, doing this instead. About the flu, Joe. He'll <laughs> be yodeling in a minute. So it's balls of voice up again. Back to square one. This is the longest I've gone since yesterday without coughing. You know, the tickle was sort of there when I went to bed, and it stopped, and it started, and it stopped again, and I just got up at three o'clock. Five o'clock, I'd done all my insulin stuff and drugs and stuff, which is very early, and went back to bed at six. Started coughing a bit again, and I ended up sitting up in bed and eventually fell asleep. I don't know. About 12, something like that. 10 o'clock? No, 10 o'clock. What am I talking about? And it's only uh, 13.35 now, so... <coughs> oh, have a call. Um, so there, so I'll uh, leave you people in the, who are probably in the best of hell. And I hope you... Well, I know you're getting a bit better, Brian, now, and I know you've had a rough old time and all, mate. Rocky, you like to see your videos and you're on the way back to Hekalahoma. You're probably there now. Um, I haven't seen any from Janet this morning. Um... Don't know whether I don't think you've made another one, Bryce. since the one I saw here. I've been this bleeding, but excuse me, it's going into the quicksand now. Oh, I say, I feel all right myself. I'm going to have a shower in a minute, just for the sake of it, even though I'm not going out. Right, I will see you good people later on, if not sooner, which is almost impossible. Like when I say, I was beside myself, I say, that's a clever trick, isn't it? Right. So it's a good night for me. Good night. Good afternoon for me. Good afternoon for them and me. And me daughter that chimed in. <sighs> right. See you all later. Bye for now.